Well, what's going on guys? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be my 10th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys briefly how, well, one way you can use JFrames anyway to build a pop-up box. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new package and call it uh, JFrames. And I'm going to go into JFrames and create a new class. And we're going to call this sign up form. I don't think I need that. There we go. Okay, first thing we do is import the library. So I'm going to use the container library. I'm going to create a JFrame. So this is like the main kind of container that your frame is going to be in. And we're going to label it subscribe. So this is going to come up in the top kind of left hand corner of your of the frame. So then we're going to create our sign up form. Set default close operation. Exit on close. Set the bounds of our frame. So you input a rectangle here. Or you can input, let's see if it'll show it here. Actually, I'll just delete this and do it again. Set bounds, yeah, so we have our x, our y, our width, and our height. There we go. create a container, call it the container. And set the layout to null to start. Then we're going to create a couple J labels, which go inside of the J frame. So basically the process is um, create a J frame and then create J labels and stick the J labels inside of the J frame. We're about to import that library, there we go. And, oh whoops, forgot my new J frame, there we go. And then you set the bounds, so you set like the location of of your uh, J label. So this one, I'm just gonna position here, and then there's the width, and there's the height, and then we're basically just gonna create a bunch of these. So we're gonna create a bunch more J labels. This one will be the name label. I'm creating a subscribe box and the same thing you just set the bounds and we're just going to set a new position for it so this is the position and then the width and height same as the other one so now I'm just going to copy this a bunch of times to do the rest actually you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna add these to the container as I go so it shows you kind of gives you an idea of each piece and what it does. So then we'll add our name. Did I make the name label yet? Yeah, I made the name label. Oops, I'm going to add name label. And then our frame dot set visible true. Otherwise it won't show. Whoops. Actually I forgot to I gotta create another class, we'll call it run, and this is what's going to run our label. Oops, new sign form. There we go. So this will pop up. So we can see that our first uh, J label, the, the logo here is 
right here and then our second J label is just below it because uh, I've set that the, the uh, Y coordinate the Y coordinate went from 5 to 30 so it moved down the page 25 units so it moved down the page 25 units and then it moved to the left uh, 40 units because the difference here is 60 60 and 20 so now we're just going to repeat this process I'm just going to fast forward the video because it's just sort of the same thing over and over again so now that I've added the email label now I'm going to add uh, the text fields so I'm going to add a J text field which is the same as a J label except it's going to be a text field so we'll call this one the name text and so new J text field and then name so it's the same sort of process you set the bounds just like before so our text field will be uh, let's go 65 30 250 and 30 and then we're going to make another J text field and we'll call it email text equals new J text field and email text set bounds and email text will be 65, 60, 250, 30. And then the last thing we're going to do is add a J button. So it's going to be a subscribe button. It's going to equal new J button. And we're going to label it subscribe. And I got to import this library. And then a button set bounds so the same thing again this one's going to be down in the bottom and there we go oh forgot to add them This will be uh, name text and email text, and then we're going to have our sub button. So it should be uh, six total. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to try running again. There we go. So we have our, our uh, subscribe frame right here, which is labeled with our J frame. And then we have our uh, J label here, subscribe to www.codingwish.com, our J label here with name, our J label here with email, our J text field here, and our other J text field here, and then our subscribe button. So of course none of these are attached to anything, so the button doesn't do anything, but this is just a general tutorial on how to actually create the J frame window. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video. If you like these videos and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.